Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena and I like to talk about all things gaps, food, emotions, and really creating this healthy home and lifestyle inside and out. I am going to talk with you today about something that is a follow-up to my last previous videos on enemas, and that is how to replenish after an enema. This is something that is so important, and honestly, I couldn't leave you all too long without hearing this video. Without this aspect of, of enemas, you may end up feeling worse than when you started, and that is not the goal here. You wanna feel better, Maybe you'll go through bouts of detox, but I want you to leave these enema experiences feeling better than when you came in. So, how to replenish. Now, there's a lot of different theories about this. If you've heard anything about the Gerson protocol, you would know that some people do four to five enemas a day to rid their bodies of cancer and all sorts of other chronic diseases. They would recommend, I believe it's 16 ounces of juice for every coffee enema that you do. And that's raw, fresh, organic, you know, cold pressed, fresh pressed juice that's been juiced very recently within 20 minutes. And so that is one way that you can replenish is to have a juice and make sure that you have enough of the juice. Now, Dr. Natasha says that if you are on some kind of healing protocol or you have a very nourishing diet, that you don't have to worry about this as much because the food that you have on a day-to-day -day basis will actually help to replenish that on its own. You don't really need to add more into the process. And I have actually experienced that to be true. So after an enema, um, oftentimes I will do a big core of meat stock as well as a big breakfast with lots of cultured cream and eggs and raw egg yolks and sauerkraut and all the good stuff, I wanna make sure that my body afterwards does not feel depleted because enemas are not a way to lose weight. This is not a weight loss protocol. We're not doing enemas to make our bellies thinner, even though sometimes that does happen. But we're really doing them to detox our colon, our gut, make sure that our body can function optimally. And so you wanna make sure that the food that you're putting back into your body is healthy, it's organic, that it's good, that it's nourishing, and that you're making sure to replenish as much as your body you feel that you need to. So eating a little bit more after an enema is a completely normal thing. And personally, I would recommend milk, milk products such as yogurt, kefir made into smoothies with some egg yolk, or just like a big honking amount of meat stock, you guys. That is some of the best ways that I have come to replenish my body. Other ways that I've done so have been with coconut water. I'll buy really high quality coconut water from a store that, that's been a way that I've done it. Sometimes I will buy juice, but again, it's recommended if you're going to juice, that you juice on the spot and that you're drinking the juice right after you make it. And so generally I like to stick to some of the simpler ways to replenish, like the meat stock that I already am drinking on a daily basis and just incorporating more of those nourishing foods as I can tolerate them. So again, if you're in the earlier stages of gaps, this may mean finding what you're capable of tolerating. I might wait until I could tolerate more to do coffee enemas, but maybe if you're gonna do water enemas, replenishing with stuff that you know that you can handle. Good old fashioned mineral water is really helpful as well, just making sure that you're hydrated. I also like to make sure that I'm hydrated before the enema because I've found Sometimes it can cause me to have trouble releasing the enema after if I'm dehydrated because my body just kind of absorbs it. So that's just a good tip if you're gonna do enemas. You wanna make sure that you're hydrated before and hydrated after. If you got any benefit out of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I make new videos like this one every single week and it is my passion to walk alongside people as they heal and grow. It inspires me and hopefully brings encouragement to you. Thanks for watching.